it wasn't like we thought it was going to be, with carnivals and circuses closing. <sighs> Times were hard, and we couldn't get our act going enough to buy food. We were hungry. And I'll tell you, New York isn't a place to be hungry. <laughs> I want to be friends. Can we be friends? No, get out! Most women, when they come out of the shower and they're in a bathrobe and their hair's like that, are supposed to look pretty, but they never do. You do. It's not great, but it's friendly. Not great, but it's friendly. I never thought that it was possible to hate anybody as much as I hate you, but I have achieved the impossible. When are you going to give it up? It's great, but it's not friendly. that you have come up here to try and tell me something and you just don't know quite how to say it. I'm not kidding. I want to be friends. Oh, is it at my uh, irresistible beauty? Or does it have something to do with the fact that my brother is the head of the Boxing Commission of California? The honest answer to that is yes to both. Why not? I'm fighting for the life of a man and a marsupial that I give a damn about. Here. Have a shoe. I'll send you a bill in the morning. Uh, look, I, I just came in here to see you're all right, Jan. Oh. You funny beast. Matilda. Matilda, where are you coming from, Matilda? Who made you? And why? Why? Why should you, the most funny-looking, put-together animal in the world, have this great talent? Has the spirit of Dempsey and Sugar Ray entered your body? But why you, Matilda? Other kangaroos are in circuses and zoos and carnivals, but never, no one, no one like you. We trained hard from early morning till late every day. But the champ was training hard, too. He was determined Matilda wouldn't win this time. It was going to be the fight of Lee Doherty's life. Tanya felt badly after what had happened to Doherty at the carnival, and she became Lee's greatest fan. <laughs>
Somebody's been hit tonight. The tide has turned. The challenge is hurt. Matilda stands there. The champion stands there. Nobody seems to know what is happening. This is amazing. The referee waves the champion in. He's moving in on Matilda. But wait! I don't understand it, Duke. First they cheer the heads off for Matilda, and then they want them to lose. Well, sure, they loved Matilda, up to a point. Then they saw themselves in that ring, the human race. Suddenly they felt threatened. Man doesn't just survive, Al. He's got to prevail. <laughs> 